Like the Tito Puente or anything like that? Puente, Carlos Molina long time No, I played with Carlos Molina when I... Tito Rodriguez? No, no. You see, at that time I, I was having trouble with my lip because of the accident. What accident? Talk about the accident. Oh, I had a hell of an accident Car in accident? Michigan. No, no yeah, in the, I, was, I was the first trumpet player in the in the symphony orchestra of the Fox Theater in the 2019. In Detroit? In Detroit, yes. yes. Covered in 35. And, uh, uh, the pit, it was one of the first pits that went up yeah. down for the overture and all that. My place in the pit was dry at the door, wherever you, at the entrance to the pit. When you come in, so I had to be the last musician in the, in in the, the, pit. In the pit for before they, they went up. The what I always waited in the rehearsal room, which had a door, a swinging door in and out. And I used to warm up there, wait until everybody was out of there and I go and take my place. This particular time, the bass player came in late. He came in rushing into the rehearsal room, hit the door as I was coming with my trouble, split my lip. Hit the, Ryan uh, I saw that, I saw that on your mm -hmm. chops. Is that what yeah. that is? Yeah, is that yeah. how I got there? Yeah. How, I mean, how I mean, it was cut so bad that you couldn't play? Oh, no, I played. You played? I I you played the show? Yeah. And I with kept on blood playing. all over yeah. you? And I kept on playing, and that was my mistake. Mm. Because it got very worse and worse, and then I got into bad habits, and uh, it finally developed an abscess. Oh. An infection? Used, an infection? An infection. I used to squeeze oh. the bus before I started playing. I, I could get a sound. And then it got so bad that it was like cottage cheese that you could get out of there. Oh. And I stopped playing completely. Yeah. I quit. And I, I went to Mexico. You went back to Mexico? I went From back Detroit, then. Now you moved yeah. back to yeah, Mexico? Yeah, no, I went back to Mexico. I went back to, I played a little bass. I played mostly instruments. I wanted to play bass. I wanted to play good, so I wanted to perfect. But how old were you then? How old were you then? Uh, let me see. It was uh, 24, 20, about 26 years old. Oh. And this uh, was before you came to California. Oh, yeah. Now, this yeah. was way before, right? I mean, you... After you first come into the country. When you came into the country, did you go right to, was the, uh, like Indiana. Michigan, the first place you came from Mexico? No, no, I came to Mexico to go to Indiana to the... To, to the, Indiana? To a steel factory. I worked there for six months in the, in the steel mills. You had a cousin there? I had every, every trailer in my <laughs> <laughs> In Indiana. Yes, and yes. then, and yes, then yes. Michigan. So I went over there. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Michigan factory. after Indiana. Yeah. And uh, where was I? You were talking about the... No, yeah, you went back to Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. I, Mm, by the way, I saw Slasberg, yeah. I saw O'Donnell in Chicago, uh, this was another one, Aigoni, Chicago, Slasberg in New York, Smith in the Bronx, Smith in Boston, mm. who else did I see? Were they overwhelming to you? Were oh, best players? A lot of chops, though. I wanted well, to. Uh, well, well, what did they it. say about... Uh, well, they, everyone says, well, Mr. Mendes, all you have to do is just wait. Just let it heal. Let, let it heal. heal, let it heal. And just not come play. Back. You come back, don't play, but I was too anxious. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I finally went to Mexico. And my father tried to help me. I didn't let him. I was already desperate. So I went on the base, and then I went to see the doctor, the family, the German doctor. And he says, Ralph, you won't be able to play anymore in that condition. We have to cure that abscess. Otherwise, by trying over and over, you develop cancer. It's the next thing you're going to develop there. He so he told you this back the, then? The, the, about the, cancer? The doctor, yeah. Really? Well, yeah. So you can't keep. It's like I wasn't. I wasn't aware of the fact keep. that they were even aware of cancer. Oh, boy. like uh, I mean, and, I mean. No, 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 no. Because they don't know anything about it now, even you know. I mean, so. so it's and, it's, and it says, look, I can cure you. But you're still not late. I can cure you, but it's going to be a hell of a long time before. You was it real yeah. bad? Was it a real I bad cut? So he says, now look, I'm going to burn to the roots of what your angel is. It's up to the bridge of the nose. It's that, it's that far in. Mm. I said, but don't... The cut was in there? No, no cut. It was just the whole The infection. The infection. Oh, I the infection. Oh, I see. I said, now, if I'd known then about trumpet, what I know now, 
I would not even know what it did. I would have said, yeah, go ahead, but from up here, not from the rear of it. Mm -hmm. Good point, good point. Come down with it, let it, yeah, let it, right. let it build up. Sure, instead of going up, yeah, but I didn't know. shrink it. I played because my father told me how to play, but I didn't know how. I didn't know how I was playing, you know. I didn't know what made it tick. So anyway, he got this electric nail and let it go. He couldn't be quite hot. He said, it's going to stink just a little bit, but don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I did it before to a trumpet player. That's the reason I went to him, because I saw the trumpet player, like he burned the liver, and he played again. So he went, I just smelled the flesh, burned flesh, you know, and, just, mm. and I took it off. I said, now look rough. I'm going to show it to you. Before you look at it, if I show it to you, I want you to know. I don't want you to be alarmed at all because it's nothing. In 30 days, you don't know that I did anything like that to your lip. This is the way it will heal. So he showed to me, Jesus Christ, with all that warning, I, I, I just about fainted. Mm -hmm. You could insert a cigarette in the hole in my lip up to the nose. Mm -hmm. That's how big it was. Mm 